guys what's up so it's been a while it's been a while since I've done anything for you guys and there is a point to that there is a reason why I do that okay um, it's not because I've forgotten about this channel or you know or anything you know by you guys really I do keep up with a lot of questions that you guys have for me when and my previous videos and I try to help you guys out as much as I can um, unfortunately a lot of the stuff has to be the coding stuff a lot of the stuff that requires coding has to be done um, with the actual application for me to debug I can't really just imagine what you're I mean some things are easy and I can tell you oh that's because you did this or because you did that but a lot of the errors and error debugging I need to um, I need to diagnose the, the site itself so I apologize if I haven't been able to help you out as much as you hoped I would be able to um, that's basically because I don't have access to your code so I can't I don't want to lead you wrong I don't want to give you the wrong answer or the wrong solution and have you think that I don't know what I'm doing or also you know basically not give you the right solution and it's gonna end up breaking something else or you know causing more problems so I apologize for that and I'm sure that everyone else that is watching my video that also does what I do and I also teaches this that um, they'll probably they'll probably know what I'm talking about they'll be like yeah I know he's right you know that's unfortunately you know you can't really debug from like that all right but today I'm actually bringing a new different kind of spin to this channel okay um, I yeah, it's I am not really just a coder okay I am not really just I don't really just develop okay I'm not just a developer um, a lot of the things that I do have to do with marketing digital marketing okay and part of the digital marketing uh, that you have to do for your clients is they may want their brand to be shown in t-shirts and things like that and you have to put that in their website you have to for example let's say you have a client that says hey guess what I need I need to make shirts for my company and I want to show these shirts out on the on my website okay well here's the thing um, you could basically go to you know any person out there that does any manufacturer there that that does um, shirts for you and ask them for the template files which is probably what which is what you're looking at on the screen and on the screen right now and this thing that you're looking at in the screen right now this is a sample of one of them there are I don't know I want to say hundreds but most but definitely dozens of different kinds of templates that people use okay so this is the one that I use for my manufacturer for the the, the company that manufactures manufactures my shirts but whoever you are choosing to manufacture your shirts they have their own templates um, blank templates that you need to ask them um, once they ask them it will look exactly to what you see right now or not exactly but very 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 similar well you will have a cutout that shows you like in this case what you're looking at the screen is the blank is the front of the shirt right and then the square that I put in the center I actually did that part myself because this template didn't come with a guide so I kind of guided after some trial and error I did that myself but if the template that you get from your manufacturer does not have a guide like that red box with letters in the side in, inside I recommend that you do some trial and error until you find the outline of where your design your main design should be and then um, and then just kind of leave it there and I'll tell you where to put it so that you never lose it and that will help you with future designs that you build on top of it it will make it um if you, you already have the the, the the layout and you already have the the guideline and know where not to get out of and where to kind of stay within so that your designs come out nice okay however but again why am I doing all of this if if I'm basically a UI UX guy why am I doing all of this well what is, UX is really about pushing somebody's um, not UX but part of the digital marketing that you would do for a client for a customer of yours would be to push out their brand through the website and a lot of this stuff has to be done especially if you now just made a brand for them if you made a new brand logo for them 
or they came up to you and say, guess what? I had somebody else made a logo for me and I'm going to have shirts done. You know, you don't want to just put a, the, a, a picture, right? A picture of like a, with a camera of, of the shirt because um, then you have to make sure that you have the right lighting. You have to make sure that you have the, the right staging. You, there are a lot of things that you have to have in order for the shirt to come up nicely in a picture, which it can be done, but that, that's another way of doing it. This is a different way of doing it. A different way of doing it is by putting a mock-up of that shirt. So what I'm about to show you here is how do you build these mock-ups? So you eventually will need two different files. One, you will, first you will need two different um, softwares. Okay, you will need Adobe Illustrator and you will need Photoshop. If you can get the entire suite, the Adobe Illustrator, the Adobe Suite, Creative Suite, I think they call it, then perfect because it has it all. But if at the most, you need to at least have those two because the two files that you're going to be working with are going to be in Illustrator and then Photoshop. Okay, so the first one is going to be Illustrator. The Illustrator one is going to be to actually create the template that you're going to be printing, that the manufacturer is going to do to print on the shirt. So that's where we're going to start with. This is the template and I have several, in my case, some, like I said, some manufacturers will have the front, the back, the sleeves and the color, all of it inside one folder and inside one project, one illustrator project that you, that you open and it will be broken down into folders here so like this will be the front and then there will be another one down here that will be the back and then you can open the front and work in the front and then you can open the one below it which will be the back and then open it up and work in there but in this particular case that i'm working with right now this one has all of the different um um, um sections of the shirt broken apart into individual files it makes it a little bit more convoluted and more mess to keep up with in your files, in your folder structure, whatever you keep these things organized. But, you know, uh, this is what it is. All right. So um, I will send you, I will post the link in the bottom in the comments on where you can download these for mine, my blank ones, so that you can just create your own and practice. But again, I would suggest that you work with your manufacturer and ask them to send you their um, templates because that, that way you'll be working in an actual accurate environment that they're going to use. And you don't have they don't have to resize anything for you. Everything will be resized. Everything will be placed exactly where you want it. So I would suggest you to do that. But they all work similarly, okay? All right. So I will be, like I said, I will be bringing you uh, sharing mine in here in this uh, in this folder right here called mock-up templates which I am going to basically share with you guys and this is what you would need to um, download this copy of mock-up files and this copy of templates we're gonna work with the template first and then we're gonna work with the mock-up files okay let me just move that back over here all right so so let's start. Um, let me open up a new tab here and just bring it over here because we're gonna, you know, we're gonna bring in some some stuff, right? So you could use Shutterstock, you could use Adobe, what is it, Adobe Pictures, Adobe, I don't know, something. Uh, what is it, one, two, three, RF, I think it's called out there. They have a bunch of them, I like FreePick, so Free pick is one that I use a, a lot and I have a license to use their stuff. So I suggest you you use them if you if you want to. Um, they are a pretty good company. Um, so I'm already um All right, cool. There you go. I'm in there. So let's just go ahead and, and make one really simple, okay? I don't I don't want to go through too much into details here. Because I don't want I don't want you guys to um, you know get lost on what I'm doing. Let's just pick up a, a text effect. Let's just let's just see what's with the text effect here. Um, let's just pick one uh, one that's not too big. I don't know. These are all the same stuff. Army. I like that one since I am actually army. 
or I was, I got out. All right, uh, let's just go ahead. I'm just gonna download this one and use this one. All right, it's been downloaded and I'm gonna go ahead and open it now so I can extract uh, the stuff I need from it. So that should give me a folder. Where is it? There it is. That is in my desktop where I put it. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that. And just get this out of the way for now. Uh, right there. All right, and I have a PSD file in here to open. Okay. Um, I suggest you have a pretty good machine that can withstand this kind of uh, load because they are pretty big. Um, all right, so some text later. All right, let me show you what I'm looking at. Oh, it doesn't let me drag it. All right, let's go ahead and bring it over. There we go. All right, so this is what I downloaded from them, right? From Freepik. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of the stuff here. So I'm gonna leave the background. I'm gonna your your enter your text here. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna leave army. You know. Um, the good thing about this is that if you open here, and you're gonna get to see also this and the other, um, you can um, cancel that. You can re you can retype something in there, and then it will take effect in here. So that's just uh, one of these text effect things from from Photoshop. So let's not worry. That's not what we're doing. So I'm not I'm not gonna show you how to design. Okay, uh, that's just something you're gonna have to do on your own and from another. Um, YouTube channel maybe designing is a it's a thing that you kind of create in internally you know and nobody can teach you how to design I mean I can teach you tricks and I can teach you how to do a specific effect but how to design that's just something that has to be within you but what I'm going to show you is how to use your design all right so I just want to get rid of this PSD text effect up there so I'm just going to do an out of select and hit it and there it is there is not it. All right, so additional text. Oh, there we go. All CC enough. All right, so additional text. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that and leave everything else the way it is, but except for the background, except for that background as well, and that whatever that was up there. Oh, light. Yep. Well, I don't want to get rid of all the light. What what is that? Just get rid of that. All right, so I have this, and now I am going to basically Control Shift and Option and then S. But if, if you don't know what I'm doing, it's basically is this one here, um, this one, Export As. So you go into the Export, not this Save As. You go into the Export, and then you do um, Export As, this one right here. Or Save for Web uh, also works. So I use this one a lot actually. So that's the control shift option S that I was talking about. I'm going to make sure that it's PNG so that it's transparent. Okay, that's good, 1800 is fine. And I'm going to save it somewhere. So I'm gonna save it back in the same folder that I'm already using here. So I'm gonna call this logo, all right, because I'm we're gonna pretend that this army part here is the logo of the company that you're working with, right? All right, so I'm gonna save that. And now, because I kinda of like that background that they used, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the background back, but I'm gonna take everything else. I'm gonna come over here and then bring it smaller so I can see what I'm dealing with. That's pretty good, all right. Um, control shift uh, op, control shift option s or command shift option s if you're on a mac and same thing here i'm just going to pick that back up again and that's it png is fine and save it and i'm going to save that as uh canvas uh, what is it not canvas what, what is that material is that some type of i don't know we're just going to call it background yeah all right just put it in there. All right, so why did I separate that stuff? So I separated it for a reason. It's because I want to be able to import my my background here and my logo in the center at different sizes. Like I don't want to expand the background and also the logo ends up 
expanding or because then I may end up having some blurriness in there. Also, I don't want to expand the logo, I mean, um, expand the canvas and then the logo ends up being above, outside of this boundary right here, okay? So the idea of having this boundary that I have here is that anything that you put inside here, inside this boundary, will be something that will be easily read in the center of the chest, right? So if you look at the chest that I, the shirt that I have right now, you notice how the Captain America shirt, uh, Captain America logo, is not expanding back here into the armpits. It's somewhere where you can still see it. So it's usually about a couple of inches off the collar, and and then from nipple to nipple, from nippity to nippity. All right, and then, um, so you, that's basically what I already kind of measured out. I already kind of measured out this, and then you can, you will be able, you should be able to do the same with whatever template you get. You should, if it doesn't come with a guideline already, build your own guideline after you figure out where this area is, and then make a little area with the tools that you have at your disposal here on, you know, like this box right here, whatever. And then um, that way, you know, I'll save it that way. That way on the next ones that you make, you don't have to re-measure it again. You kind of already know where to stay. All right, I think I already explained all of this before, but it doesn't hurt to explain it twice because most likely you're gonna probably forget and not do it. <laughs> all right, so now it's time to actually import the stuff in here. Can I drag and drop in here? Sure you can. But that causes some issues in my opinion, in my uh, opinion, or my opinion. Um, so let's not do it that way. But first, before we actually do that, let's first talk about what these folders that you have here mean. So this here, if you notice, it says do not design in here. What I have here is basically the canvas cutout, which is this right here that you see this white area with the cutout of what the of what this looks like without the sleeve. So the sleeve, this right here will be a sleeve and this will be a, a, another sleeve. And this little thing here will be for the collar, right? And then you're gonna see the same thing on the back as well. So if I show you the back, um, that was the back. This is the front. Okay, so that's the front. This is the shirt and this is one sleeve. This is another sleeve. The back you already saw. The neck, it's just basically one strip and then they're just gonna put it on there. And then this, the left sleeve, which has cut out because this is gonna go towards the front uh, of the shirt. This is gonna go towards the back of the shirt. And then this entire thing goes wrapped. So careful not to put something like you said, oh, I got all this area here to put my logo, like blah, 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 all the way across. Because the, this is not just the front. That is the entire wrap. So if you put something across the entire thing, it's going to wrap around the entire arm. So that's why I have also a boundary here. So I can, so whatever I want to show here will show only here on that little square. Now, what do I want to do with the rest of the black area? This is what I call background noise, which means this is where you will put your background that is nice, but it can also be sacrificed. It's nice enough that if it shows it's nice, but it's also not that important that if it gets cut off, it's not a big deal. You got that? That's important. And then the blank uh, right sleeve, which is basically the same thing, but backwards, because you know that's, you got one is facing this way and one is facing this way. So let's go back to the front here and then let's start working on this, right? So what do we have? We have, first we have the canvas, which is what, you, what I just explained. And then I have these two things here, which is basically just uh, the boundary and some explanation, anything outside, just to kind of remind myself of what I'm doing here. So this right here, I'm going to basically just get it out of my way, okay? I'm not deleting it, I'm just hiding it, okay? I'm just taking, that's what this little eye does, all right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and start designing inside this folder I'm gonna design, okay? So this clip, this clip group right here basically means that whatever I add here is going to be clipped around this box, around this square, and it's not going to leak out, okay? It'll make it a little bit easier for me to know what's going to be inside the, the canvas, uh, you know, in, inside my template. So instead of designing, instead of adding something inside here, I would add something inside this group, okay? So that way everything that I add in there is already clipped inside this rectangle. That makes sense? All right. So let's start off by importing those files. And I'm gonna import them like this. I import them like this a lot better, a lot. I mean, to me, it's better to do it this way. So I'm just gonna go back to um, 
to this folder and I'm going to import both because I'm going to use both of these. So there they are and here's my background. So I'm going to grab my background first of all and I'm going to add it in there and here it is. You notice that it's outside of the clip. So you see how it's it's not, you know, it's, it's leaking outside. So this is what I meant by having everything inside my clip. Now you can see that it's in there, okay? But I actually wanted to cover the entire thing. So maybe I should make it the other way. I should turn it around. So I'm gonna click here and transform and rotate and I'm gonna rotate it exactly 90 degrees. So that way it's there. And now I'm going to basically just put it in the corner there. And I'm gonna hold shift and drag it until it covers everything. That's about right. You don't hit to you don't need to hit enter or nothing, it's just there. Alright. Oops, nothing. You don't need to hit enter, so I hit enter. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so now you don't need this background anymore because we can just reuse this one and move it over to the next templates here. So um, let's go ahead and grab the logo now. So I'm going to open this and get the image and I'm going to copy and I'm going to go back to my front and paste it. And there it is. And I can see that it came with some kind of shading stuff. All right. So let's clean that up first. I don't like that. So let's go back over to my Photoshop and that was this. This one was done with that. I'm going to use, okay, so now I'm just going to take the brightness off and I'm just going to put basically just these files that were given. Um, yeah, and the shadow, yeah, I'll leave the shadow in there. All right, so I'm just going to resave this again and I'm going to resave it in the same spot too. Still PNG, yes. Um, save. Save. And I'm gonna save it back as my logo again. So replace, yes. Save. It. All right. I'm gonna move that back out of the way again. And I'm going to grab this guy here that I just did. Delete that. And I'm gonna grab this guy here and delete it as well and re-import it. So. Here it is, there it is. And now I'm going to open it up. I'm sorry if you hear my cat out there. He's, I don't know why it's acting up. It's all meow, 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 meow. All right, wants attention. Okay, that like that better. That way it's, it's there. Now here's what I meant, right? This is what I meant about bringing in everything together, background with logo. If, you, if I would have brought the background and the logo together, I would have had this issue where it was too big you'll see right now see it's too big it's cut off that's that's gonna show in the armpits so it's too big and um i would have had to resize it down but if i brought it with the background at the time that i start resizing the logo then the background also resizes so that's why i bring it separate so that way i can change the background anytime i want if i don't like the background but the logo remains so I'm gonna go ahead on this and bring this and bring it to a size that I know it's not gonna leak out. And then just put it about there. And then hit this so it can be in the center. There we go. Now I can just go ahead and click that off. And there it is. That's the shirt. That's it. That's all the designing I'm going to do. I'm not gonna do any more designing. Just one more check and maybe I want to bring bring it up a little bit higher I think it's a little bit too low so I'm gonna bring it to like right there and there all right and now I'm going to delete that not delete it sorry um, hide it so I'm gonna grab this group right here and I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna go to my back I'm assuming that my back is going to look exactly the same. I'm going to paste it in here. All right. That pasted in the wrong place. I got to bring that down here and then hide that. And let me, let me make this smaller here so I can see what I'm doing. And then I bring it down here. There we go. And now I can go ahead and uh, maybe center and 
Now, if you notice, I already have a group right here. So basically, I'm not going to use this group. I'm going to keep this one because this one was already uh, resized. So I'm going to grab this rectangle stuff and I'm going to move it down here instead. There you go. That way I don't have too many stuff. Like this right here, I don't need this. Sorry, I don't need this. So I'm going to get rid of that one. There you go. That's good. All right. Now, I didn't bring the logo. Oh, you know why I didn't bring a logo? Because the logo wasn't inside the group. Okay. Now the logo is inside the group. No big deal. I can go ahead and just bring the logo. Uh, just grab it and drag it to the to the other one. But then I got to recenter and all that again. So I just click over here. Make sure that it's um, that it's high enough where I want it. That's good. And then recenter it. Good. I like it. Hide this back again. And that's done. And now for the for the neck band, maybe I just want for the neck band, I just want a some color that is similar to this. So the neck band is going to be and I'll grab here and then maybe pull off from the blues like a dark, dark, dark blue. Like something like that. That that was easy. And now we're gonna go into the sleeves. Now for the sleeves, I guess I could show you, uh, yeah, I'll show you how to do something in the front as well. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna grab, make sure that I put back in here so I don't make that mistake again. And I grab this image and these two images here and I'm going to copy them. And I'm gonna go to here and paste them. And I put them here, so it, it automatically does that. So I'm just gonna bring it inside my my clip. There we go. So now I have the background already loaded, but the army is obviously, the letters are too big. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that in there, but maybe I just want just the A in this case. So if I just want just the A in this case, no, nah, actually, that that's gonna require too much work, and like I said, I'm not trying to, um, I'm not trying to teach you how to how to design here. So I'm just going to just use it, use the logo the way it is. All right, bring it down to the bottom of it, cause I kind of want it like down here, right above the seam of the this this fold there, whatever it's called. Okay, that's good enough. And now I'm going to actually use that for the other one because that's already been sized. So I'm gonna grab these two images in here, copy them and go to my left sleeve and paste it there, kind of move everything where it needs to go. And then it doesn't look like it's inside the clip. So I'm gonna bring it inside my group here for my clip and now it's clipped. Bam, done. That easy, you created your templates. So now what you do is you gotta create the files that you're gonna send to your manufacturer, wherever it is. So make sure that you have this hidden. Don't show, don't print something out with this and send that, okay? That's not gonna work. That was just for you to design, a template for you to design. You, they don't need to see that cutout, okay? You need to send them this, the entire thing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing that we already did. Uh, Command, Option, Shift, S. Now for maximum def definition, I like to grab this one here and put a nine in there and it'll basically re give me the absolute biggest size that my illustrator can render, which at this point, it does not go bigger than 6,300. So, but I put a nine just so that it can resize itself. All right, and you see how it's already doing this optimization thing because it's, it's finding all of the pixels and it's trying to redesign it all, you know, evenly. Um, one thing that I want to mention is that because I designed in Photoshop and I injected these images in this Illustrator to do the, to do the, um, the templates, there will be some blurriness because Photoshop works with pixels. See the blurriness? That's bad. That's because I did it with Photoshop and Photoshop works with pixels. Illustrator works with vectors. So the way I do it is instead of doing the design in Photoshop, I'm bringing it in here into Illustrator like I, like I just showed you. I actually like to design everything inside of, for, uh, inside of Illustrator itself 
because Illustrator works with vectors. So that means that whenever I enlarge it to 6,300 pixels width, as you see right now, there's absolutely no blurriness because vectors, they expand. They, they don't, they don't, they don't separate the pixels. They actually fill the pixels as they expand. So there will be absolutely no blurriness. But for the sake of this tutorial, not spending three hours because it takes a long time to design, um, not spending three, four or eight hours doing this, I'm just going to show you in the fastest way on how to build these templates and these mockups. Okay. Again, I'm not teaching you to design. This is not a designing course and that is not what you should be doing if you if you want to do a high definition mock-up okay but it's just an example for now all right so I'm gonna go ahead and save it and just so I know what I'm dealing with I am going to be used I'm going back to into my folder and I'm going to make create a folder so I can you know get myself organized and I'm gonna call these template files and inside the template files I'm gonna create that folder and I'm gonna call that um, front, just front. All right, and that's going to save. And the exact same thing that I just did, you're gonna do it to the back and call it back. To the slit, to the neck band and call it neck band. Left sleeve, call it left sleeve, right sleeve, call it right sleeve. So, we're gonna go a little faster on this one. Um, I'm going to try and do a, a, a time lapse on this so that you don't have to wait. All right, so we are done exporting all of that stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And then you, you can see these asterisks right next to the, the file name on these AI folders, AI files. The, this means that they haven't been saved, okay? So I will recommend saving them. I'm not gonna save it because all this thing is gonna be scrapped, um, but I recommend saving these because Illustrator has um, has a thing that it, it has an auto save uh, in the memory. And you can also recover lost, like if, if your computer shuts down, something happens, you reload out Illustrator or Photoshop. And then it brings you back a recovered version of what you were working on with maybe without, with missing maybe like the last two or three steps of what you were doing. So that's a great thing that Adobe did, but I wouldn't depend on that. I would depend on my own saves and saving my own stuff. So save, um, save often. Save often and resave and replace what you saved. That way, if you got a little too far and Control Z doesn't go back enough in the history to get you to a nice spot where you liked the design, you can at least just scrap that last thing and then pull out the last save and then and then you can retry again what you were doing. All right, but for right now, I'm not gonna save it. All right, so we are done creating the files. Hopefully. Now it's time to put these files that we created into the mockups and actually build the shirts and see if our design actually looks good. Because so far it looks good on a square, but that doesn't really give you an idea of how it's gonna look like if it's too high or maybe too low. You don't want Army to show up on there. You don't wanna build this, send it to the, to the manufacturers. They make the shirts, send you 50 shirts, 100 shirts, or to the client even worse. Send 100 shirts to the client. And then all of a sudden, army is on the stomach. Wow, <laughs> you're right, that's not good. You wanna make sure that it looks right. So let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna bring Photoshop back in the mix. Back in the mix, there you go. So I already have them uploaded here. And again, these are files that I'm going to be sharing with you and the link is gonna be in the description below. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this so we don't have to see that again. Um, yeah, we won't need that again. And now we have here. So I'm gonna, just going to do the front. I'm not going to do the front and the back. So I'm just going to do the front so you can see what I'm doing. But um, you have different files here. You have this file here, which, um, let me see, that's that's for this inside color. Um, I normally don't pay too much attention to that right there. I just 
forget that and just leave it like that. That's when you actually want the design to leak through and you want to show a design inside the shirt, like the inside of the shirt. Normally that kind of stuff doesn't really matter much. So I just leave it off and leave it on this, leave it black, leave it on design. Um, then I have this here, which is a, looks like it's a band of some kind in here. Uh, I'm not really using that either because the, the entire sleeve is going to be the same thing. And then I have one here as well. See, there's a right band here that's tugging on and off. I'm not doing that as well, so I'm just going to leave that off. Now, this is the back right here where I'm gonna, you're going to put a design in there, your design layer for the back. You're going to put it here so you can show like the, the, the back side of it, some of it. You're still going to show the entire back on this on this one. Um, and then this one, which is basically the sleeve, the left sleeve from this angle, but you're going to eventually show the entire left sleeve from this other angle once you build. That's why it's good to do both. Um, and then uh, you have here the right sleeve on from the front, and then eventually you're gonna put that one here so you can see the back of the the inside part of that sleeve, and then the front. Okay, so let's start with the front. So you see this little thing here okay so what is down here this stuff right here is different layers that this file came with to create colors background colors and things like that inside your design in this case right here this is for the stitches so i want the stitches to be white in this one or black and i think the design that we have is dark so i'm gonna go ahead and just put black stitches on that and you can see now the stitches here the black and then this is for the color that we have here now, if we look at what we had for the neck band, we double click on that and click on this, copy it. And you can bring that back down again. So now we can go ahead and click on this on the neck band and paste that in there. And now you have the, the color on the sleeve. All right. But um, and what is this? Uh, okay. Yeah, we already saw it. We already said that that was going to be Let's just go ahead and give that the same color of the... Uh... All right, so now we're gonna start with the front. So you basically double click. When you see this little thing over here, that basically is that you have to double click on it and then it will open an internal file that is, that you, it, it saves somewhere inside the computer, but it's hard to find it. You don't know exactly what it is and you don't need to actually save it. You just, you don't need to actually name, save it in a particular spot. Just, just save it in the same spot that it already is and it will be fine. So just double click on that, and then I'll show you this blank area right here, which is where the actual file is going to be. So I'm going to open up um, on my files here and try and find those, uh, those files that I created. And if you look in the template files here, then they should all be here. So we're gonna start with the front and open up that, and it'll open the entire um, the entire file here there you go now you can go ahead and grab it and drag it into that rectangle whatever it's called and drag it in there it's going to be big but that's fine now you're going to get control T or command T and without pressing shift just just drag it just drag this down here until you get it to the size that it covers the entire height of the the entire height right here so once that's done, maybe move it down a little bit more and then hit enter. Once you hit enter, it's going to process for a little bit. It's gonna take some time to process. And then you're going to be able to see the changes reflect right away on here. So let's give it some time to save. Did it save? I don't think it's safe. There we go. Control S, basically. This is what I mean by you don't have to actually go and find a place to save it in your desktop or anything like that. You can just control S and save it exactly what it is because it's actually saving in a temporary memory file. It's not saving in an actual file that you need to carry along. Okay. This thing knows already where it's going to be saved. So as you can see, it's there. Because I kind of know already how to work this, I kind of placed it already in a place that I knew I was going to like it. So that's there. But I for the that looks like it shifted a little bit to the side. So I'm going to go ahead and actually move it um a little bit more to the side here so it looks more center and then resave it again and now check it again now it looks like it's facing that kind of because if you can see that is that that's facing kind of like a 45 degree angle so i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest now so i'm gonna pick that one up which is the back one 
and I'm going to basically use not that one but this one that's already been sized and add it in here and wait, hold on let me make it a little smaller so I can see what I'm doing there you go now control T again and you're, you're only showing the corner of the back file so that's good enough hit save and you can see that it's showing back there now we're gonna go to the right sleeve and open that up now for this we're gonna need a different file so I'm gonna go back to open and find that file so that's gonna be this one actually they're both gonna be the exact same file so let me just pick this one for now in case you have different design and different and different sleeves you may need the right one you're messing with pretty big files here so it takes a while for it to load all right so once that stops spinning all right now go ahead and inject it in this rectangle here and control T to see where it is find the edge of it size it down almost okay bring it up there now size this one down a little bit past it there you go hit enter now we're doing the left we're doing this one so it needs to show like on the edge right here um, so maybe move it to the side there maybe a little bit more and control s go back to it there you go that's kind of where it will it will be and now we're going to the other one and because it's the same um, the same sleeve the same design just gonna take that off put this in here and drag this here and in this one you will basically just see the very end of it so uh, that's fine hit enter control s and if you think that at that level you shouldn't see the a oh wait I put it in the wrong spot all right so let's go ahead and control Z to get back to where we were and save it that's what we need to do add so we're gonna grab it and put it in the four there we go and that's going to be there and control save all right now we should be good all right so now it's in the right spot so there you go and you're gonna basically do the exact same thing to this back and it'll look exactly the same as this but the other way but that's how you basically do it now you can go ahead and just um, close these rectangles right here these rectangle files and don't worry about losing anything because they are saved believe it or not they are saved so they're still in there now the last thing you need to do is to actually put this out so that you can use it in a site uh, somewhere so you're gonna basically just command what is it command option shift as you know the same way we'll be doing everything and you may want it to be um, transparent because you want to make sure that well wait, if you want it to be transparent you gotta you gotta turn off the, the background so turn off the background there you go control shift command s again to save and now make it transparent so now it should be transparent and in a second now it's a pretty big file see it's 6,000 pixels so we're not gonna use anything like that on the website that's way too big so I'll maybe make it like about 1050 and there you go so now I can go ahead and save this wherever I want it um, yep right there and then I'm just gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna call these my mockups and that's going to be my front one save that now if I grab that if I go to my folders and I open it up open that image there it is I should be able to use this now in my client site and put it anywhere in the website where it's gonna look fine all right that's it once you're done with this then you can basically do the same thing uh, to the back and make sure that it looks you know as you like it and make sure then that you save this file so you see the asterisk make sure that so you don't lose it save often and that's all there is so 
Thank you for watching. And, you know, if you want to subscribe, that's fine. If not, then that's okay. I'm not trying to get famous. I'm just trying to help. All right. Have a good one.